Bronco McBride is, is one of those guys that you just can't help but be terrified in a good way. Of. Yeah, but Bronco's fired up. I mean, you know, Alex Monroe's been talking a lot of trash lately, you know, saying he wasn't ready, saying that, you know, and oh, here they go. Salvador and Monroe attacking Roden and McBride right now. And now, here we go. They just threw the juggernaut out, and all that's left in the ring right now is the one known as Death Proof, Bronco McBride. Oh, look at Salvador and Monroe just kicking him in that opposite corner. Actually, their own corner. My goodness. And now Bronco's down on his knees here, trying to just get out of whatever this is. I mean, that, my goodness. And Alex Monroe now, oh, big kick to the... I mean, Dio Salvador has quite the resume, but oh, wait a minute. One person who I think has not read that resume, the juggernaut, John Rowe. Off the ropes he comes. Double clothesline, taking both competitors out of this one. And right now, the reunited team of John Roden and Bronco McBride. Now, John Roden kind of taking the, uh, doing the workload, you could say, right now, while Bronco McBride tries to, like, you know, bounce back from that barrage of violence he dealt with. Oh, boy. Whoa, did you see that? Right off his partner and double leg Larry and taking out both Alex Monroe and Dio Salvador. This is where Death Proof lives, right on the edge between sanity and insanity. I'll say it once, I'll say it again. Oh, look at these two now. What's this about to happen They can here? hug, they can swing. We, it's 50-50. Yeah, you never can tell. You really can't. Which one are you betting on here? Oh, here we go. Handshake and a hug. Okay. Welcome back, Bronco McBride. I'll say it again. I'll tilt, tilt the moon. I'll scream to the moon, welcome back, because I am happy to see what I'm seeing right now. You know, Bronco McBride, John Roden, where they belong, right here. This is one of the best tag teams, I think, in RWA, and they're back together finally. Kick to the midsection by Roden now, and now the juggernaut pointing up, and Alex Monroe, that's one place you don't want to be, is up. Look at the power of John Roden. Oh my goodness, has him. Oh, uh, Bronco just tagged himself in. He still has Monroe in that suplex. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Wait, wait, wait. They just hand him off. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. He like reversed that. No. Oh, what? But Monroe almost got out of that. Jeez, so where's the power? Um. Double body slam, my goodness. Alex Monroe now passed off like a sorority girl. To, never mind, I'm not gonna go there. Oh, Salvador missing that flying body press. Oh, Dios mios. And right now, Roden, oh, wait a minute now. Alex Monroe, you know, elbowing Roden in the head, getting out of that, and oh, wait, misses him. And you see Salvador kick him in the head. Smart tag team yeah, wrestling Salvador by these guys. Is a legal man right now. That higher gun, you could say, from Alex Monroe. Drop kick, beautifully executed I mean, off the Diaz, top rope. Diaz and Monroe are very talented. However, when I started at RWA, the tag team champions at the time were, say it with me, Bronco McBride and John Roden. And I they agree. hated each other at the time. Yes, they actually despised each other at the time. Like I said, these guys could be best friends. And like you said earlier, they could go to blows at any minute. Both of them just love the fight, especially Bronco. I mean, they love the fight. They love Did the fight. Did he just spit? Did he just spit? Dio Salvador just that's spit at Bronco McBride. Yeah. And Bo Browning now trying to restore some order. And Tony, like you love to say it, the death triangle, they're just taking away any kind of uh, tag or anything that John Roden can get to. Split the ring into a triangle. Make sure your opponent cannot escape that triangle. And you have infinite control. You know, I'm seeing a lot out of this uh, Dio Salvador. His, you know, just him being technical a hybrid you could say you know I asked him earlier who his idols were and the first person he pointed out was Owen Hart and we're seeing that we're seeing that you see that elusiveness we're seeing that just that that hunger that Owen had in Dio Salvador well not only is he fast but he's pretty strong he's agile he again one of those five cool players RWA loves to bring in those guys to get our, the complete package we don't half ass it like other companies we bring in guys who bust their ass that's right, you know, Cleveland, Ohio, native, this guy right here, Salvador. Also, you know, before when Cleveland All Pro was around, he is actually a former heavyweight champion of that division, of that, excuse me, of that promotion. And right now he is just taking it to John Rhodes. John, you see how he just drug 
his face off that top rope just a little bit to tag Alex Monroe. Yeah. This guy right here, relentless, but I'll tell you what, technical and talented. Yeah, he comes in like a firecracker. And Alex Monroe also coming in like a firecracker, trying to get make a name for himself, so to speak. I mean, he's been here six months, and yes, I'll say it, Alex Monroe has shown a lot of potential, but one thing about Alex Monroe, he always gets a short end of the stick, and tonight he is making sure that he has something to handle Roden and McBride. What is that what he's trying to He has that Salvador man, that's right, Dio Salvador, pretty much in his pocket right now as a hired gun here. Well, I mean, it's a good, good thing to do. You've got to bring friends to a gunfight. And you know what? RWA is the last Wild West in professional wrestling. Sometimes you need a gun. This is the first time these Just guys have guys back. These guys have actually tagged. I mean, this is the first time these guys have actually tagged. And man, they are just doing amazing together. But wait now, I think they made a mistake. And oh, Roden just went ahead and suplexed them both. Good Lord. The power of the juggernaut taking them both over. Bronco begging to get in there right now. So Salvador got pretty much, I mean, he got Salvador and he's trying to hold him back. Drop kicks Bronco McBride. I'll be honest, miracle that Salvador and Monroe were able to get up the power, driving those two men onto their necks, damaging blows John Rowan had, but they bring John Rowan back to the death try. Here we go. Whatever momentum he had from that double suplex is gone. And Alex Monroe picked himself one hell of a tag team partner, and he is showing that right now. Now he's choking Ronan on that second rope. Damn it, Bo, turn around. Bo did turn around. He did catch it. Oh, my goodness. 6-1-0? I think that is Cleveland's, uh, Ohio's uh, zip code. We're going to go with it. Sure. If I'm wrong, don't correct me. I don't care. <laughs> one. Two and no. Only a two count. Oh, he's arguing with the ref here. Sorry there, Salvador. You did not get that one. And right now, taking it to John Roden is Dio Salvador. What an impressive outing so far. And I cannot believe what I'm seeing here. 216. Greens from 216. I know this. Shane, Shane Taylor. I'm an idiot. Has him. Oh, he misses the frog splash, though. Roden getting out of the nick of time. Broncos begging for that tag. Alex Monroe now trying to come over. and Bronco taking out Monroe. This is it. Roden, this is where you need to make this tag. John Roden slow to climb over. Almost has it. And oh, he just pulls him in the nick of time. And Monroe, smart maneuver by him. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Uh, that's John Rowe now being dragged back to the corner. Again, in that corner of Monroe and Salvador. I mean, Dio Salvador playing him like a fiddle right now. Punching him in that opposite corner. Tagging again, Alex Monroe. Here we go, folks. This is where John Roden really does need to get out of that death trial, get to Bronco McBride. I know Bronco McBride is only two months back into his resurgence, but you have to get to the fresh man. It doesn't matter who it is. We had that European uppercut. Here comes Monroe, and he moves oh. it. He kicks out his own tag team partner. Pretty much a noggin knocker. There's spine buster by the juggernaut. John Rowan needs to recover. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. He needs to recover and get to Bronco. Bronco is literally up on the third rope, begging, salivating. He wants in there. Can Bronco McBride get that tag in? Unleash the tag. death proof. Here we go. McBride, Salvador. Salvador, McBride. Oh, Monroe coming in for a little bit. That didn't help. Oh, no. Has him up. Oh, boy. Bronco McBride has Salvador. Ray Reborn's in. Oh, oh, wait. oh, my God. He hasn't lost a step, has he? No, he hasn't. And fall away slam with both competitors in his arms. Holy shnikes. I know that look from Bronco McBride. You know that look, too. That's the look of a man who smiles while he's bleeding. That oh. is death proof. I mean, he, yeah, that's one thing about him, man. He can breathe in his own blood. People look at that. They get freaked out. Not Bronco. Oh, wait a minute, though. 
Alex Monroe, though, I can't believe he got up after that. Bringing up some momentum. That was huge. Oh, wait, he has him. Looks like he has that wrist lock around the waist. I mean, we could see a German, but if I am Salvador, I'm getting out of the way. Dio Salvador is laying there. Oh, wait a minute. Now, Roden. Close lines him, and out goes Roden, too, though. Sacrificing his own body. Mick Foley style. Partner. Mick Foley style right there. Yeah, very well observed there, Tony. I mean, my goodness, we've seen that numerous times by the old uh, Mick Foley. But, well, wait a minute, big forearm by Theo Salvador. And another one, and Bronco is not in a good place right now, especially on top of that uh, turnbuckle. No, he, back and forth they go, delivering the goods to each other. But wait a minute, here comes Theo Salvador. Right, this is where it gets dangerous. Remember, these ropes are slippery from the heat and humidity. Yes, exactly. I mean, my Oh, goodness. my gosh. Oh, wait a minute, the Bronco. No, Bronco's blocking it. I see it. Yeah, he has his hand on that top rope now. Oh, now punching the gut. Oh, wait a minute. Dio Salvador in a little bit of trouble in. Oh, oh no. Oh, man. Salvador. Oh, no. This is called Doom. Doom made the vice. One, two, three. It's over. Bronco and Rome victorious. Juggernaut John Roden and Bronco McBride pulling up the victory and a big one right there.